Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a little channel update as I am getting into a kind of slow stretch of the year for myself content wise and I'm going to explain why that is. I'll talk about kind of what's going on for me personally, what's going on with future videos and some other goals and things that I have for the channel. So let's get right into it with the very first thing that is, I mean, the most basically the most significant thing that is bogging my time down right now, and that is school. So I am a high school teacher and the year started and I've been very busy, as you can probably understand. So school started last week and we are doing a linear system this year. So we've moved from semester to linear. So rather than having four classes for half the year and then another four, we have all four at one or all, yeah, all eight at once. I need to do some math there. And it, there's a day one, day two. So we alternate between the two schedules. It means that I can plan one day of teaching and then use it the next day as well, which is very handy. Uh, but it also means that I have tons of students that I have to get to know and plan for uh, tons of students uh, and, and paperwork uh, that I have to complete. And I'm also working very hard this year to try to improve the way that I teach my class because I could just teach it the way I always do and, and just kind of walk in there. Uh, but I'm trying to improve things. I'm planning on, uh, you know, I've been making some brand new assignments. I've been updating and improving old assignments. Uh, and I really want to create some situations where students are learning new skills. Uh, and getting out of their comfort zone specifically, uh, but then hopefully realize the difference th that it's making for them uh, in their studies and their, you know, their learning. Uh, although that's always the hardest part is getting a student to buy in and, and see where the improvement is, because basically the only time they ever really feel that is if they see uh, they get a good grade on a test or something. Uh, so really, you have to get those kind of results. Just a shame, you know, but it is it is how it is. It's, it's with that like that with a lot of people where they need a result. I mean, if you if you're getting into Warhammer and you don't win a lot of games, well, it's probably because it's such a nuanced game with so many details, but you're certainly improving every game, you know, almost definitely. Uh, but you might not feel good if you're not winning those games. So it can be kind of similar with students. But uh, otherwise, I'm not coaching any sports yet. So that's good. Once I get to the wrestling season, I get real busy. Uh, but I am running a grad council, uh, grad council right now, and also a tabletop club. So those are weekly clubs that are going on. And the tabletop club is actually going to be working on some Warcry stuff. So we are doing, uh, we have some stuff that was donated by our friendly local gaming store. We have a Pyre and Flood set, which I'm really excited. I put together one of the uh, Lumineth models from that. It was so, so cool. Uh, and I have another student that's kind of savvy with, you know, putting together small miniatures and they've been helping me because when it's push fit, it's really easy for, for all the kids to join in. But when it actually requires some clippers and glue and stuff and, and you need to work on, uh, you know, with a hobby knife, I can't really just leave that to everybody. Uh, I need to be pretty selective. So I have some experts that are helping me build, but everyone's gonna get to paint uh, and everyone's gonna get to play. We also have the, the Crypt of Blood set, so we've already been playing some matches. Last year we played a few matches, uh, but hopefully I'm, uh, most of the club, the club is like almost entirely D&D players, and that's really cool. There's some Magic the Gathering players too, some Pokemon players. I would love to get a bigger Warhammer scene, but I've got to sell them on it because the kids don't actually really know about Warhammer, so I'm still working on that. Uh, one other personal note is that I'm moving right now, so uh, I'm in the middle of it. I move completely uh, within two weeks, but I kind of have the flexibility to move all month uh, and just do it at my own leisure. That is my uh, my wife and I, and so we're just taking it slow. Uh, but that does add to things as I'm you know packing up the house slowly and taking time to do that as well. All right, so that takes us to the channel updates part of the video, and we're going to be talking. Uh, about my content and what my plans are for it. So the first thing is that, uh, you know, I have most of a should you play Lumineth Realm Lords video scripted, but I just need some time to polish the script up and then film it and then edit it. I'd like to do a hobby update video as well to kind of share some some photos and maybe some video of some of the projects that I'm working on right now. But as you can imagine, I'm you know pretty busy. Uh, but otherwise, I haven't had you know a lot of time to play Warhammer. But I'm hoping to get some 2K point games in with my Cities of Sigmar army soon. Uh, I joined a di local Discord and I'm gonna try to set up a match. You know, uh, whenever I can, I can find a, like a free night or something, or maybe a, a weekend day or something. I'd like to go and play a match. Uh, it's a little bit further away from my house where the, where the play usually is but it seems like it's a really friendly store and a really cool crowd. Uh, and so I very much want to be a part of that. So hopefully that can all come together. Uh, but speaking of my should you play videos, the first one didn't do so well. And that was kind of surprised, surprising to me because the most common threads 
on the subreddits for armies are, should I play this army posts? And I really want to capitalize on that market. Like the question gets asked over and over. It's crazy because somebody could literally scroll down on a Reddit and find their question answered, you know, three times in the last week. But you know, apparently those people aren't looking on YouTube or maybe I mean, it could be my title. It could be my thumbnails uh, or maybe people just aren't interested in that content or the way that I'm doing it. So I'm going to try a few more of those, uh, try to get it right, try to get the, you know, the algorithm working in my favor and, and kind of see how it goes. So if you have any feedback for those types of videos, I'd love to hear it. Uh, otherwise, I'm working on evergreen content. I want to keep on working on evergreen content. That's content that can be watched you know, for a very long time, if not forever. And so a great example of that is the how to pick a faction and or details on every single faction or, you know, how to play the game that lasts for at least four years because, you know, the addition length. Uh, but those are really good evergreen videos. And what those do is do, do are they, they continuous. I can't speak this video. They continuously bring in new viewers uh, over a long period of time, hopefully get some more subscribers that stick around for similar content uh, and that's a really big goal for me is to try to build up, uh, you know, my regular viewers because right now I'm not getting a lot of views on my, my smaller videos and that's okay. I've, you know, I've switched niches. It's a sign that I haven't really built up those regular viewers yet. Uh, so a big goal for me is to build those regular viewers up on YouTube and specifically to build the community uh, on YouTube and also on my discord. And I kind of want that to be specifically a community that is incredibly welcoming to new players, uh, you know, but also has like, you know, just this atmosphere that's very chatty and friendly uh, where people can talk about Warhammer, they can talk about tabletop games and they can just talk about gaming in general. I think that would be really, really cool. Uh, and by the way, I mean, it probably means I need to, to promote the discord more than I, that I already do. So I need to just verbally say that more on the, you know, in my videos. Uh, it's. And I, it means I probably have to be more active myself on the Discord. Although if somebody you know messages me, I'm I'm there. I'm gonna you know chat with you, and I do check in on the Discord regularly. But I need to maybe promote more conversation uh, than I am right now. But either way, uh, you know I actually there are regulars that watch the videos. Obviously, you're watching it right now, uh, and there are people that are on the Discord and. Uh, they're all really awesome. So come join us. Uh, and to all of you that are regulars and to those of you on the Discord, you all rock. And it's really fun having you on there. Uh, and I love having conversations about all the projects we're working on. So those are all always really fun. Otherwise, I think I'm going to call it there for the video. So thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I hope uh, you all make it this far into the video. I'd love to hear any suggestions you have on what I've discussed above, you know, any sort of video ideas or community building ideas are definitely appreciated. And if you haven't joined the Discord yet, what are you doing? Come on, join. Not a big deal. But otherwise, I'll see you all in another video soon. Hopefully that hobby update video, maybe I can do it on Wednesday or Thursday this week. We'll see. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching this one and see you later.